Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I have a featured members video for you guys. I'm gonna tell you about some Bolo items, some items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Um, these are members of my Bolo Buddies channel and they have joined memberships at level two so that they can be in this video. If you would like to be a part of this video, you can join memberships for perks. There is a join button down below. If you don't see it, you can also check the description of the video. Thank you all so much for being here. My channel is completely free. Memberships is just something I do um, for the perks, all right? So let's get started here. I'm Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. I have two other channels, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies and Reseller Testing Bolo Products. Those are also linked down below if you guys wanna check that out along with a bunch of other links. So check out the description for sure. So the first item comes from the Thrifty Broad and Melissa picks up a lot of her items at the Goodwill Bins, which is an outlet store that is by weight. So she gets fantastic deals and she sells her things on multiple platforms. She sells on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook. And you can check out her YouTube channel for more information on that. Um, these Tiva boots. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you um, 15 bolos and I'm gonna tell you about who sold them. And then at the end, we're gonna have a speed round of 15 more bolo items, okay? So those last 15 are gonna move super quick. So she got these Tiva boots at the bins. She did end up taking a best offer of 35 on these. Um, just wanted to move them out, had an offer. I don't know about you guys, but I do that sometimes. Like if sales are slow and I have an offer, I'll take it. If I can make money, she probably had two to three bucks in these. So still a very, very nice profit on those. The next item comes from Where Pigs Fly Farm. And this is a, a charity. So what they have, let me read this to you. It's just a fantastic thing. Um, when she signed up for memberships, I was like, I really want to share about your cause because it's awesome. Um, so this is open to the public. They have 300 rescued animals. Um, a lot of them are handicapped or they've lost their homes and been brought to the farm. They have 62.7 acres. It's in Missouri. They also have an old farmhouse that is an, a, an Airbnb built in 1882. They have cattles, cattle, pigs, peacocks, and more. And it's just an amazing cause. So they have their eBay store and the proceeds go to the charity. So if you guys are um, wanting to support this cause, their eBay store is linked down below. So you can click on that and check out all of the great items that they have for sale. Um, they do a lot of auctions and their uh, what sold videos are fantastic. Um, I was checking them out the other day and super, super impressed. So go check out Where Pigs Fly Farm on eBay and on YouTube. All right, here we go. This is a lock. It's a vintage Corbin padlock. Um, it says February 10th, 1931. It says pin tumbler key cabinet lock. They auctioned this. Um, they picked it up at a live auction, had about a dollar in it. They started the auction on eBay at $20 and it got bid up to $68.89. If you guys don't know, these old vintage locks can definitely be a bolo item. So look them up if you see them. The next item comes from Terry Mindful Recycle. She is a big money bolo finder. This gal, I'm telling you, she goes to estate sales and finds the most amazing items. You guys will love her store. Her what sold videos are just jam packed with bolos. And what did she sell? She sold this Jim Shore nativity set. She picked this up at an estate sale for $45 and sold it for $179. If you are not familiar with Jim Shore, you definitely should get familiar with it. Once you've seen it, you won't forget it. It's easy to recognize. It has a very distinct look to it. And they typically sell quickly for a nice profit. So definitely be on the lookout for Jim Shore. The next item comes from Designs by Josie and she has a newer channel. So go show her some love with a sub. And um, she's putting out more content. She really just started putting content out about three weeks to a month ago. So um, check her out now, this one here. 
she sold this sewing machine and this was um, given to her as a gift and she used it for a few years and decided to sell it. And she had it listed at $460 and she accidentally put it on sale. And as soon as she put it on sale, somebody bought it for $276 and six cents. So she was super upset about this. And that is one thing on eBay, when you're creating sales, you really have to be careful <clears throat> because you can lump them in together and it gets a little bit confusing. So I use the categories when I do my sales. Um, like anytime my husband lists stuff, um, he, he doesn't list a whole lot, but um, I make sure that his items are excluded from the sales. So that's one way to do it is to organize by categories when you're doing those. But this is a Singer 221 featherweight sewing machine. And again, $276.06 on that reseller um thrifting butterfly hustles ebay um most of her item i think i think she only sells on ebay now that i think about it but butterfly hustles is amazing she has a great thrift with me videos go check her out and she's a bolo finder she sold this it's a shark plaque would you guys have picked this up or walked right by it to me, it looks like just something that maybe a kid made. I don't know. It doesn't seem super fancy to me. I, I would have definitely walked right past it. But it says USS Shark 591 Submarine Service Navy Plaque. And she paid $2 for this at a thrift store. And it sold for asking price of $83.72 plus shipping. The next item is from Double T Treasures. And definitely check her out. She is putting out some content. She is new, a newer uh, featured member. So she's going to be new to you guys that have been watching for a while. This is her first time being featured. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. She sold, and I love this one because I have sold these before. They are Baby Einstein DVDs. And it's a lot of 16. And you can find these at thrift stores and garage sales all the time. She paid $1.99 each for these at the Goodwill, and she took a best offer of $90 free shipping. The next item comes from Yard Sales and Dreams, who again is also a Bolo finder. She just hit 1,500 subscribers, and she's doing a giveaway over on her channel for some Ray-Ban sunglasses. So get over there and subscribe. Um, I know she's going to be doing another one. So if you missed the first one, I don't know when I'm going to get this video out, if it's going to be before or after the giveaway, but I know she's doing another one for another pair. So sub her up and get in on those giveaways, but also get in on her videos because she drops lots of knowledge. She sold this hat. It is a K products hat. She had it listed for 40 and she took a best offer of 20. She picked it up at a yard sale for 50 cents. K products is a great brand. And if she would have held out, she probably could have got more for this. But you know, the quick flip is sometimes just worth it when you have pennies in your item. The next item comes from Lola's Trunk Treasures. And she does not have a YouTube channel. She has an eBay store. And check this out. Um, Quirkle Game Single Replacement. So look how they did this. She put all the game pieces here and then you can choose your piece. So if somebody needs like two or three, they can bundle them. How smart is that? Very, very smart. Um, she sold this Gunny Sacks dress um, and it's from the 70s. And she sold this for $175.50 on auction. And she got it free from a friend. And I'm going to go back over here to her store and just show you some. Of, look how cool this is, this needlepoint. Some of the cool items that she has listed. Just a really, really, um, really neat store. So definitely uh, check her out down below. The next item comes from Restored Glory, Donna. And Donna sold, she's got a YouTube channel. She, she knows a lot about breakables, which I do not. So you can check her out for that. And let's help her get to 200 subscribers. She is newer to YouTube and let's show her some love. But look at this. Talk about breakables. Hen Henry Bendel, Fashion Girls Par Porcelain Cup. It's a coffee mug, you guys, a large coffee mug. It's actually a set of two. She got these for $1.99 each at a thrift store, and she sold these for $165. Is that awesome or what? Love it. 
The next item comes from a little bluebird, and she also has just a really unique, different store. Um, all types of stuff, really cool stuff from clothes to hard goods. So you can follow her eBay store down below. And she sold this armadillo full body leather purse. It has ruby eyes. It's vintage from the 1940s. Check it out. Have you ever seen such a thing? She sold this in three days for $250. She picked it up at an antique store and she paid $30 for it. The next item comes from a rural squirrel. She is also a new member, so you guys need to go sub her up. Um, Goodwill bins, that is her thing. Um, just the stuff that she pulls out of the bins is unbelievable. So go check her out. She does a lot of collab videos with other uh, YouTubers. So they go to the bins together, which is super, super fun. And she's got a really, really uh, cool channel. Nobody else is really doing tons of bins videos that's a member. So um, definitely something for you guys to check out. And this one I picked because um, it's a retail arbitrage, but the one thing about retail arbitrage is your margins are going to be smaller typically, but this is Kith, K-I-T-H. I don't know if it's Kith or K-I-T-H, but I think it's a website and she retail arbitrage this. Um, she said it was limited edition. She did pay $165 for it. It's a Coca-Cola collab with Simran, Sam, Simran. I don't know. I have no, I wouldn't even know where to start with this. Um, but she paid 165 and she sold it for $239 and 99 cents. And I do believe she said this went internationally. The next item comes from Philly flipper and you guys, he is kicking butt over on his channel. His videos are starting to get some crazy views and it is well-deserved. This one has, I think it's up to 14 K now, but he is fantastic at editing but he is also amazing at finding um, bolo items at garage sales. And he's now doing online auctions, but he pops up how he sells things and what's sold. So the, they're very educational videos also. So definitely check him out if you're not following him. And he sold this New York Rangers Wayne Gretzky season starter jersey. And it has stains. Um, he got this at a yard sale for $3 and he sold it for 150 plus shipping. He is also a moderator in the Facebook group. So, um, check him out. This one comes from Don's one-stop shop. He does not have a YouTube channel, but a very, very cool, um, eBay store. I'm going to show you a few of his items here, and then I'm going to show you what he sold. So we got a few more here, and then we are going to go into the speed round. This is a Monopoly Star Trek game. He got this. Um, he bought a new old stock lot and ended up paying about two to five dollars per item. And he sold this Monopoly game for hundred and ten dollars plus shipping. The next item comes from Donna Bottolino. If you guys are looking for inventory, she sells wholesale to the reseller, and it's not new stuff typically. It's vintage or um, pre-owned items that she picks up in storage units or um, bulk buys from estates or um, she's just got connections. Um, she used to own a thrift store. So she has a lot of people that reach out to her um, with stuff and she wholesales it out to us. And I am a buyer. So when I say us, I literally mean me also. I actually have three bundles coming from her right now reseller lots that I'm going to be doing unboxings on so stay tuned for those and make sure you're subscribed to my channel as well but you can sub her up here she is almost to 5,000 subscribers you guys let's help get her there and what did she sell she sold this empty vintage lucky strike cigarettes box it's an empty box you guys and she's she just could not believe like the buyer was so happy about getting this item. And it's just, you know, it's crazy what people collect. Uh, she ended up selling this on auction for $32 free shipping. And this came out of a um, storage locker. The next item comes from Franklin Hill Ventures. And he is a booth guy. He, I think he has two or three booths. And he also sells on multiple platforms. Um, I know he spell, sells, not spells, he sells 
on um, eBay. I think um, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook. He may sell on some other platforms also. So he is very, um, got. he's got his items everywhere. So check him out. And he sold these on Mercari. They're 2012 Titanic glass bookends. Um, he sold these for $84. And he picked these up at a thrift store for $10. And we are going to go right into the speed round. So now I'm going to tell you one other item that each person sold. This one was sold by Franklin Hills Ventures, and it's a tank. And he got this. He did the consignment on this. It's Forces of Valor Unimax German Tank, 1944. Um, he ended up taking a best offer of $56.80, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item was sold by Donatella Bottolino. It is a vintage 1993 Betty Boop t-shirt. And again, she got this in one of her bulk buys. Donna really only puts stuff on eBay so that she can be featured in these videos. Um, so she doesn't have a whole lot in her store. Um, I didn't have a whole lot to choose from this month. I'm like, Donna, you need to list some stuff. So, uh, but yeah, she's mostly selling her stuff on YouTube in bulk to us. But that Betty Boop uh, shirt sold for $100. This vintage Dallas Cowboys Santa Claus, Danbury Mint. Um, anytime I see Danbury Mint, I definitely look it up. He sold this for $150. And again, this was a part of that new old stock lot where he paid two to five bucks each. And this is Don's One Stop and Shop on eBay. This next item comes from the Philly Flipper. He got this at an auction. And he sold it um, for $100 and he paid $2 for it. It's a vintage antique Monroe manual calculator, 80 button adding machine. Would you look at that? That is pretty nifty. The next item was sold by a rural squirrel. She picked this up at the Goodwill for $30 and she sold it for $275. It is a flexible flyer wooden sled uh, made in the USA. So really really um hard to ship item no way i would have walked right past it the next item is from a little bluebird it's a paperweight and she got this at a thrift store for five dollars and it sold 24 hours after listing for full asking price of 10402 orient and flume 1977 butterfly pulled feathers signed paperweight so I was going to see if I could find, oh, right there, 1977. So very, very cool. And you can see the artist signed. It's kind of etched in there. This next item comes from uh, Restored Glory. This is her Etsy shop. It's called Restored Glory. This is a vintage mid-century modern um, peacock. And it's a picture. And she sold this for $78 on Etsy. And she bought this for $7.99. The next item is from Lola's Trunk Treasures, and that's her eBay store. And right here is the little tag, Mini World, real full circle pinafore, or pinafore apron lace, 2T. This is a vintage toddler dress. This is how you want to lay them out if you find one of these. This will help sell your item. This sold on auction for $76, free shipping. The next item comes from Yard Sales and Dreams. It's this vintage cameo bowl base, shiny black on frosted white glass. And it looks like it's leaves here. How pretty is that? That is stunning. Um, she got this at an online auction for $5 and she sold it for $99.99. Z Coil Clog. Okay, this was sold by Double T's Treasures. She got these at an estate sale for 20 bucks. I don't really know much about these, but she sold them for $174.96. Looks like they are new without tags. I'm going to see if I can find um, slip resistant. I didn't know if maybe I could see what the inside of the shoe looks like. Right there, Z-Coil. You can kind of see it. So that's, huh, interesting. Must be some high dollar shoes. Wow. The next item was sold by Butterfly Hustles. It's Iran Crafts Long Cardigan Wool Cable Knit Sweater. And it is, it is fancy. Look at that. Where did she get this? 
Goodwill for $7.49 and took a best offer of $125. The next item is this Nintendo 2DS Crystal Blue with charger. And it's got the other little, the stylus and the four gigabyte SD card wiped and working. Uh, this came from Designs by Josie. She got this at a clean out, so just labor. And sold in three days for $125. The next item is this Nano Baby. It's 1977 vintage Playmates. Um, it's a baby, Nano Baby Pal, sealed in the original packaging. This was sold by Mindful Recycle. She got this at an estate sale for $45 and took a best offer of $150. If you guys haven't seen these little keychains that do things, I think you like have to like interact with them. I'm not really 100% sure. I've sold things similar. Mine have been used and they are definitely a bolo, but uh, she knew what she was buying here. So she did pay up for it. The next item are these vintage real framed mounted butterflies taxidermy. Um, she said she actually had these sitting in her resale shop at on the farm for $3 and decided to put them on eBay and auction them. And they sold for $86 plus shipping. And she got this at an auction originally, and she thinks she paid a buck for it, but she started the auction at $20 and it went all the way up to 86. And the last item here comes from the Thrifty Broad. It's Jacobs by Marc Jacobs. It is a men's waffle knit cashmere sweater. She ended up taking a best offer of $60 on this and it was a Ben's fine and she had approximately $2 in it and the buyer did pay shipping on that. All right, you guys, that was 30 bolos. Let me know what you think in the comments. Would you have walked past some of those items or would you have picked them all up? If you made it this far, leave me an emoji of an owl. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.